Hi, welcome and thank you for joining us here at St. Charles Borromeo Catholic Church to celebrate the love which God has for us in this weekday live stream Mass in Ordinary Time. I am Father Kwame, the presiding celebrant. The theme for our Masses in Ordinary Time is My Soul is Thirsting for Renewal. May the Eucharist strengthen us to experience the divine healing and renewal out of the afflictions of COVID-19, our political problems, social injustice, and emotional distress. Let us now worship. Good morning. Good morning. I know that the one in whom I believed, and I am sure that he, the just judge, the mighty, will keep me safe. What is my due until that day? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we celebrate this feast of the conversion of St. Paul, the conversion of Paul from going after Christians and disrupting the way of Christ to now becoming the champion of the Christian lifestyle, and he became an apostle for that purpose, for that reason. Uh, we too uh, want to follow St. Paul's footsteps, that whoever we are out there, that we should believe that we can be used for God's purpose, and also for many of us that we are able to open our eyes and our minds to receive God's blessings through the unlikely events, through the unlikely places, through the unlikely persons, we open our hearts to receive God's blessings through all these people. If God can do it with St. Paul, God can do it with us. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us call to mind our sins and then be prepared to rejoice in God's blessings to us today. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, 
Draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today. And so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts of Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew, born in Taurus, in Chalchitai, and brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamal, I was educated strictly in ancestral law and was zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and whole council of elders could testify on my behalf. For them, I even received letters to the brothers and set out to Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem and chains for punishment for those as well. On that journey, as I drew near Damascus. About noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Sal, Sal, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companions saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, what shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, get up and go into Damascus, and there you'll be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing but because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companions in their Damascus. A certain Asias, a devout observer of the law, and highly spoke by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. At that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice. For you will be witness before all to what you have heard and seen. Now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all your peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news.
Aleluya, 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 aleluya. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and your spirit. A reading from Holy Gospel according to Mark. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes will be baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they recover. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. We marvel at the conversion of the man who we celebrate today. We marvel at his zeal, his influence, and his transparency, uh, honesty in about speaking of himself. I am the foremost of sinners, but I receive mercy for this reason. That is in me as the foremost. Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience for the example of those who would believe in him for eternal life. That's what our St. Paul says, and it sums up the importance of his feast for us among those who believe in Paul's footsteps and believe in Jesus Christ for eternal life and still making good on our own conversions. St. Paul's conversion seems to be the mar marvelous, the miraculous result a St. Stephen's prayer. As you might remember, St. Stephen, the first Christian martyr, was being stoned to death outside Jerusalem. That now bears his name. The stone thrown assailants were all laying their cloaks at the feet of Saul, or Paul today, showing that he was presiding over the execution. St. Stephen prayed, Lord, do not hold his sins against him. As, they, as he was asking Jesus to receive his spirit, echoing Jesus' own word from the cross, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. These prayers were heard. God did not hold his sin against Saul or Paul. 
and Jesus met him on the road to Damascus to give him forgiveness and the gift of conversion. Today, the Feast of Saul's conversion brings us to our own conversion. Many of us think and thanks God we don't have to be converted from a wicked life. Many of us will never see that. Many of us have never been that way. Many of us will never have to be saved from debauchery or sadism or sadism. But like many of us, many of our Christian brothers and sisters do need to convert from preconceived notion of Christian life. Many Christians are minimalist, coming to Mass when we can, praying when we have the energy, when we finish accomplishing everything we needed to do, and we feel like it. And we still have the energy to keep commandments when it's good for us, or even the best we can. No, that's some of our Christian brothers and sisters. There are many of us who are legistics, think that if we pray, pay, and obey, all that's all the Lord asks. And if we fast two days a year and don't eat meat on Fridays, and we avoid mortal sins, then we're setting ourselves up for eternal life. We can live Christianity without a cross, seeking the good life of pleasure, money, power, and control, without sacrificing ourselves for the good of God or of others. Others can think we can live the faith on our own without the other members of the Christian community, without a real love of our neighbors. Others think that God wants us for personal piety without imitating St. Paul trying to spread the gospel until we all know. If you remember, Paul says, I'm the greatest of sinners. Our piety should not even come close to that. We are all in the same boat as Paul was. We can multiply these examples countless times over, but now living by faith in the Son of God, they're not crucifying themselves to the world and the world themselves. They're not seeking to become perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. They're not even making the effort to receive God's true grace grace to embody the Beatitudes. This last Sunday, we heard about discipleship and how God wants us to join him on his missions throughout the world. And God promised if he, as his disciple, you, you would have a personal relationship with him. And all the become disciples would follow three pillars. Conversion or repentance. Follow me and hear the call. My friends, my brothers and sisters, today we hear the conversion of St. Paul. And he answered the call from God. He answered the call to convert from being a persecutor of the Christians to being one of the people that knew God's word through Jesus. He is one that was with the disciples daily, with Christ daily. He is the one that we still write about and still think about daily. Yes, we may not be the sinner as Paul was, but all of us need to check our conversions daily to make sure we never get that far. Amen. Our gracious, loving Father, hear the prayers of your people. We pray for the church. May we grow in our abilities to watch and respond to those thirsting for justice, 
compassion, and Christian virtue in our midst. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the world, that our leaders throughout the world make and cooperate with efforts that bring peace and unity between all people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our nation. Grant our leaders the wisdom and courage to lead this nation to meet the test of these times and give us renewed dedication to one nation and their God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the community that we may be made aware of hunger and thirst in our lives for God to be with us and prepare to make room in the places and spaces where we do not invite Christ to enter. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick, for those suffering body, mind, spirit, and for those who care for them, especially Karen Miller and all those suffering from COVID-19 and other illnesses. We pray for the Lord. And we pray for those who died, especially in the Book of the Dead, and those who have risen and gone before us in faith. Richard Dick Epp. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those intentions written in our Book of Intercessions and all those we hold in quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Our loving God, you hear the prayers of your people. Grant them as you may. Grant them as you wish. Always be with us. Care for us. And compassion for all the things we ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth, the work of our hands. It will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of our hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away iniquity and cleanse us of our sins. My dear friends, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith which the Spirit constantly enlightened the blessed apostles and all the saints for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their prayers always sustain us in whatever we do. And so, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, O Lord, are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, And entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. O Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity and justice together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all leaders of the world. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our times, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to share in this spiritual food. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And now pray with me the spiritual prayer of communion to unite ourselves with Jesus. Dear Jesus, I believe that you suffered, died, and rose from death to save us. I believe that you are fully present in the bread that is blessed and broken and the wine that is blessed and poured out in the sacrament of the Eucharist. Thank you for making me a part of you, the mystical body of Christ the Church. Renew in me your sacrificial presence and let me be united with you at this moment so that in all my thoughts, words, and actions, I may represent you and love others as you love me. Amen. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. Let us pray. O Lord our God, may the sacrament we have received stir up in us that fire of charity and justice with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace to continue loving and serving God and one another. Thanks be to God.